Good day, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Fear the Awakening with me, Cornish Knight, and my gallant Cornish colonists. Last episode, we basically sold off a bunch of kids to a demon, well, to a, yeah, to a demon, run in all honesty, so a dwarf could get a girlfriend, and we could get some rather nice gold. Um, now we were heading off down in Dick's direction, I believe. We're going to check out something down there. That's interesting. I wonder what it is. Um, some interesting stuff. Now the question is, how do we get ourselves some more research points? Because I really want to get some more research points. Crafting tools, perhaps? We've got golden stuff, we've got a bit of gold we could use. Lots of coal. That's ten. If I use the pad out of clay, that'd be really nice, but I can't afford it. Gold is more likely. You could make that. Everyone's working. Oh, I forgot that, that they're actually constructing stuff. So we'll cancel that for now. Construction. It's going to take them a while to build those places. So let's just skip forward a turn. Turn 123. Basically, from what I've been told, there's like several ways for you to win the game. One of them is like doing the storyline, which is what we're doing. The other one is literally just like building up your settlement and trying to survive like the coming darkness. Got some straw, got some food. Actually, I'd better go down to that bunch of people down there and tell them not to burn that because that's not good. Told them not to eat the cherries either. And these people here, just continuing on. We shall keep on advancing. A figure clad in a ragged dark green cloak slowly approaches your party. As he gets closer, it is clear he is barefooted and carries nothing more than the clothes on his back. Seeing your party, the figure takes off the hood to reveal a gaunt, tired face of an elf, with his black and sad eyes looking straight through the souls of your men. Despite the evident sickliness, there remains an air of grace, a whisper of bygone beauty in the forgotten ancient creature. He stretches his arms before you in a gesture of peace, but does not speak. Try to talk to the elf. You approach the wanderer, mimicking his sign of peace. You speak up. This is a dangerous road to be roaming on your own, sir. Are you all right? There is no reply from the figure, and so your men make another attempt. As they get closer, the elf steps back and waves at them to stay away. Do you need help? You seem sickly. Let's try that one. The elf shakes his head in response and bows slightly to say thank you. He starts moving again, but you see that his pace is very slow, as if every step is a measured effort. It looks good, give him some the supplies. It's uneasy when you approach with the supplies, but when you place the small bag before him, he musters up a smile and bows once more, in thanks. He takes the bag and closes his eyes, making a hand gesture towards the skies, the earth, then the ground. You recognize this as the symbol of the cosmic tree. The figure moves away from the party, his step clearly made lighter by the kindness of your men, and some of you feel a strange energy run through your veins. Alright, so there... F yeah... To be honest, I think I'm going to help the elves rebuild the world tree because from the way that the humans are talking about it, it sounded like they did it really just out of spite, which doesn't really earn them any favors in my book. The whole we want to be the mark, like we want to be in charge, so we could like wreck the world for everyone. Okay, that's bad. That's really bad. M turn. Everyone's leveled up. The Gatherer's Willpower, Intelligence Tactics, and Find Weakness. With the Expedition, it's Health, 
defense, range defense, or range damage, perception, perception, health, willpower, speech, and willpower in the village. Health, crafting, tactics, willpower, attractiveness, willpower, folklore, and will. That's good to know. Got some stuff out of there. That's good. I should probably break camp now for these people and head back to the town. You see the skies oh darker. god. Getting heavy. The wind picks Run up. away. I hate those encounters. Right. We've got a town doing stuff so there's nothing for them to do. I get a bad feeling that's going to be enemy encounter down here. Oh, it's just you are set upon by a small group of rugged looking dwarves. Their faces are scarred as if they cut off their beards with their axes, which they probably did. Their clothes are worn and their eyes hungry. Only their weapons remain in perfect condition, the last remnant of their bygone heritage. One steps up and spits before speaking. Money or we'll kick your teeth in now. Whoa, whoa, can we talk about this? The lead dwarf spits and grunts at you. Less talking, more doing, my hammy friends. I got little patience for talk. Ah, uh, this is bad. I haven't really got enough supplies, so we're just going to have to fight him. Four dwarf bandits. This is going to be really interesting. Reshuffle. Uh, that's, o that's okay, not much better, but... Who's got the highest attack? Put her down first. Oh god. So much damage. Okay. Um, we're going to have to be really think for careful about this one. They're level 8 as well. So we can't confuse them either. Okay. Um. First action. Right here. God, these guys are massive. I doubt I'll be able to take them all. Okay, we're gonna do first action on Frank. So these guys are confused. Oh, boy, this is gonna get bad if I don't do something. Right, support allies so her attack goes up. This is gonna end badly. Oh boy. Reshuffle. Keep him played. Right. We'll go. Shield ally. Shield ally. Hopefully this will do it. The dwarven bandits. Oh god. I realize a few of them have somehow broken their weapons in a last act of dying, but perhaps some can be salvaged. So what's this? Bramblewood Club. We got some really nice gear, but she's really wounded. Right, I'm gonna have the camp. This isn't good. There's no food nearby either. Ugh. 
bad business. Accursed dwarves. Oh, those guys are hurt. Oh, we got someone new. So what did he get? just turn up? New villager. Someone has joined your village. See Samir. He's a gatherer. Hmm, not bad. Equipment, we better get him some equipment. He's got Amethyst Sword, actually that's relatively nice. But we still need to give him some armour. That's really all we can do. Production gathering, we can put him on gathering. about those wounds. How goes the construction in town? That is what is important right now, the construction. Done in two turns. Still need to heal, it's not fantastic. I need to find some of the food really. Completed that, that's good. And that will be done tomorrow. With the hall complete. Gain bonuses to their speech and will intelligence. Children grow up, choose the sage class, or have a chance to become scholar or inventor, that's good. Get some herbs. Meat from the well. Drop off this along with these, along with the quartz as well. Anything else worth dropping off? Hmm, not really, no. take for us to pasture. You know, I got cherries. And when that's plus two on its own, that would be probably much better than the one I've got. So we could, in theory, Village overview. Scrap that one pasture. Hmm. Could scrap one of the herb lists as well. So that could be useful because then I could scrap. 
don't want to get rid of all the herbalists. Uh, of course I did, because I'm not thinking properly, because I am a fool. A gigantic fool. Do we need something like... Gives us nothing. So we've built out of that. Okay, so it's not really... So this isn't going to get enough us besides research. I'd rather just build it out and get wood because I can get wood a lot easier. Curses, right here. Now that's completed, I can do what I was going to do, which was get a pasture. Quartz. Use some of these and use. You know, we could use those. Seven. Hmm. Plus two food. Yeah, let's do that. Now we have that stuff taken care of. Let's examine. So with the work, so build a properly place for crafting items and equipment increases for craft skill and unlocks the chance of crafting good quality items. Children's growth grow up to be craftsmen to receive five more points of bone, five more part, more skill points. Good, that's very good. Now how goes the? I need to break camp. They can't eat the medicine now, so that's not great. Okay, break camp. They're all healed. Off towards the gold mine. You travel through the plains until you discover a deep rift in the ground. When you look down, you see a vast area filled with rubble. You notice that the rocks move unnaturally, and you soon realize that these must nah. be rock trolls. It's the rock trolls. I don't want to fight rock trolls. Right. Got the herbalist back up, at least. Get a pasture going again. Get some coal from there. Let's get out of town. Get the things we can't really easily get a hold of. I think when we craft something, next thing we're going to have to unlock some more high tier crafting resources. Because we are, or at least better weapons or something, or granite. I could really use granite. Because I need to be getting supplies of some sort. Production. 
Pepper Nuts off working on that at the moment. But in the meantime, I can rustle up some decent equipment for a change. Good quality. Uh, that's ten percent, twelve percent. Does it matter what I actually? Hmm. Let's end turn. Hmm. I got the pasture done at least. A bit closer. Set them to gather some more basic materials. Right, let's go and explore this gold mine, shall we? Discover the remains of a gold mine. Two shafts remain active enough to try and explore them, although they are clearly not stable enough to call safe. You now have a choice of the two tunnels to follow. Go left. You go down the left shaft. The air is heavy and the tunnel is dusty and unused, but you see a golden light at the end of it. As you approach, you see a treasurer, a goblin like demon, sitting on a pile of gold. The treasurer turns to you and speaks in a low, hissing voice. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. And it is mine, you know. So what do you want? Uh, it's all going to be level 3, so soul, so soul, or fight. The treasurer turns to you and speaks in a low, his voice. Okay. Yeah, that's the most clicks and we'll be off for now. Curses. Uh, well, that was our own fault. Goblin village. Let's attack the village. Draw them out and pick them off one by one. Let's just fight them. One goblin boss, two goblin salmons. Relatively solid party, keep and play. Out comes the goblin boss. Ooh, he's actually relatively tough, but we can just stab him. And then we can go. Let's put... Hmm. First action that on them. We could actually probably put... Get closer down on that person. Get some of our heavy hitters out. Right, our turn. So it would be... Can't do that, so we could get... Get closer for them. Shield ally because he's our healer. Let's see how this goes. One of our guys took a little bit of damage. You approach the enemy and have a time to die, blah blah blah. You plan for weak pl planning is for weaklings attack. You win, we get Ah, uh, some okay stuff, like nothing particularly fantastic. Wiped out the... Uh, the unpleasantness. Now we get a new research point. Right, what should we get? Granite. Oh, subsidian would be nice. 
nimble wood, maybe. Elven wood, that would be nice to get some more wood types. Or I could go straight on to steel. I actually am, I I need to unlock something more in the crafting menu. Yeah, I'm gonna have to unlock something more in the crafting menu to be honest. Better armor perhaps or better weapons. I forgot have I need to unlock some better crafting materials. Let's go with war hammers. Hammers used used to be simple tools but with time got bigger, heavier and adapted to fighting. By researching war hammers you've led to be able to craft them this item using the following recipe. Confirm. Good. That's done. How's that going? They get some leather and wood. Some string. All the good stuff. Hmm. Let's craft something, so are we? Crafting. War hammers. Let's make it quartz because I can get hold of quartz easily. Uh. Stone war hammer, perhaps. Falling comet. 16 damage, blunt perception, that is nice. I've got a whole bucket load of this stuff coming. Fallen Comet, you can certainly see the stars with this hammer. You're certain to see stars if you hit if hit by this hammer. That's nice, confirm. I put my best people working on it. Uh, really? Damn, this takes a lot of people working on it to get it done quick. Right here. And we are out of time for today, ladies and gentlemen. I've been Cornish Knight. If you have liked, press the like button. If you wish to subscribe, please press the subscription button. You can follow me on Facebook and Twitter at the links provided below. I've been Cornish Knight, and I shall catch you all next time. Goodbye. <laughs>